A shamed Cubs fan has been exonerated after it initially appeared that he stole a baseball from a little kid. Hey, you're watching What's Trending. I'm Jonathan Harris. Make sure to subscribe for more trending stories every single day. On Sunday night's Cubs Cardinals game on TBS, many fans were outraged at the following clip. And make it a souvenir for somebody. Will Venable was still playing in this game two years ago. Former player Will Venable is now the Cubs' first base coach, and he was tossing a foul ball to this kid in the stands. But when everyone online saw this dude in the row behind him seemingly snatch it away, everyone lost their minds. At dbibber225 said, when this guy goes to work Monday, let's hope a real man verbally sets him straight. Totally no class. And at lostways27 wrote, pretty low to take a ball from a kid. It was meant for the kid and he would have told stories to all his friends. How can anyone be happy with themselves for doing that? Even the Cubs themselves were outraged and wanted to make it up to this kid. They gave him a ball signed by infielder Javier Baez. And that'll be the end of it, right? All's well that ends well. F this guy. This guy's a jerk will have to hang his head in shame like fellow disgraced Cubs fans Steve Bartman and Jim Belushi. But wait a minute. That kid's holding two baseballs. Where'd he get that other one? And sure enough, there's more to this story than meets the eye. Fucking uh, Sherlock Holmes hat, monocle, uh, uh, McGruff the crime dog. In the hours that followed, those sitting in that same area came to the guy's defense. Chuck Mykoff tweeted, I was sitting next to this guy. That ball was between my feet. The kid already had a ball the same guy helped him get. He handed it to his wife. She took a picture of it and they gave it to the kid next to them. This guy was great. This story is bad. And he wrote, he had already helped that kid get a ball. He gave two more away to kids also. He was a great guy. TV got this all wrong. Jeff Rose, a self-identified Cardinals fan said, I was sitting next to the boy and the same fan helped him snag a ball a few innings before this. And David Kaplan, a Chicago sports radio host tweeted, I spoke with people from the Cubs. The man who grabbed the ball on the widely seen video had actually already helped the little boy get a ball earlier. The young man has a game used ball and a Javi Baez ball. All is well. Guy is A-OK, -okay, so let it go, people. These tweets were all detailed by Reddit user and sleuth BT Brian. The Cubs even spoke with the boy's mother to make sure he didn't have any baseballs stolen from him. She said there were many foul balls in that section that day and they were happily shared with many deserving fans. The fans in his section left the game giddy with excitement from a great game. Most of all, our son, who had one of the best days of his life. The Cubs said they regretted that a man who was at his very first Cubs game to celebrate his anniversary was made into a national villain. They say he gave several balls to children in the same section and his wife as an anniversary present. This guy is like the Santa Claus of giving away baseballs. He deserves not our scorn, but our praise. Remove the stone of shame. Attach the stone of triumph. Oh. But you can't blame the internet too much. After all, they're used to seeing fans behaving badly trying to get a foul ball. Foul ball for her? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what was that? What was that adult lady doing to that little gal? She took the ball. Juan Miranda tried to give it to the little gal, and she took she it just from. Her. Took it right from her. And that was oh, last that's Friday. Just beyond wrong. Well, the little girl gets boxed out, and look at the face. Oh. And even after all that explanation, some fans still aren't happy with this mystery Cubs fan. Joseph Couture said, I don't see how the fact that the guy was nice earlier excuses what he did in the moment. The ball was clearly meant for the little kid. I don't care if it was his first ball or his 50th. I don't care if the guy saved 100 puppies on his way to the game. He interjected himself into a transaction that didn't concern him. What do you guys think? Is this Cubs fan the nucleus of evil in the known universe? Or a saint bestowed upon us by the all-loving gods? For more stories like this, head over to whatstrending.com. Play ball! This is golf.